Which drugs are farthest along in development and what are the benefits over what is currently available? There are a number of HIV drugs in the pipeline right now, investigational drugs that are in clinical trials. Of all the compounds in the pipeline, the one farthest along is the integrase inhibitor dolutegravir. Now what do we need in the integrase inhibitor class? We have two drugs already approved in that class. Both are well tolerated. Raltegravir is a twice a day drug and Elvitegravir requires pharmacokinetic boosting. So what we might want is a compound that's once a day and does not require boosting. And that compound is Dolutegravir. It has gone through phase three testing head to head, one study versus Raltegravir in triple combination where it was found to be non-inferior, and a second together with nucleosides versus a Favarin with two nucleosides which found actually that virologic responses were superior in the dolutegravir group. That data is at the FDA right now and we expect a decision by August. So this is an integrase inhibitor that will be convenient, not require boosting, and has the added benefit of being active against integrase inhibitor resistant virus. There are two other compounds to keep your eye on and they're in earlier stages of development. Both have had phase two results recently presented. One is known as tenofovir alafenamide fumarate, or TAF, T-A-F. This is an alternative prodrug that is broken down into tenofovir in the blood. The compound that we have today that is also a prodrug is TDF. That's the approved drug that we use. Now, what benefits may TAF have over TDF? Well, there's some early data to show that TAF has significant virologic activity, and in addition, the drug levels inside cells are higher than they are with the existing compound TDF. The other interesting thing is that plasma levels of tenofovir are lower with this new prodrug, and that may translate to less drug delivered to kidneys and bone, which may translate to less toxicity. There was a head-to-head -head comparative stu study presented at CROI this year, a TAF combination regimen versus a TDF combination regimen. Both groups did well virologically. There was less creatin ele creatinine elevations with TAF, and there was less loss of bone mineral density with TAF. And phase three studies are now planned and getting ready to open. The third drug that also was recently uh, presented in phase two development is an alternative CCR5 inhibitor, an investigational one called Sinicroviroc. The CCR5 inhibitor we have today, Maraviroc, is available. What might Sinicroviroc offer that Maraviroc doesn't offer? And that is a new concept would be CCR2 inhibition. That is a receptor that sits on the surface of macrophages and mediates inflammation. So this compound potentially not only is an antiretroviral drug, but also could be an anti-inflammatory agent. There was a phase two study uh, that looked at combinations of Sinicroviroc together with nucleosides and compared them head to head with two nukes and efavirenz. They saw similar virologic activity, although there were more virologic failures in the Sinicroviroc group and more toxicity favors, failures in the efavirenz group. But one interesting thing was looking at inflammatory markers, which appeared to go up in the efavirenz group, but went down in the Sinicroviroc group. This data clearly supports phase three development, and those studies are planned.